नमस्ते दिस इज जे बी एन डॉक्टर विशाल सक्सेना एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर मैथमेटिक्स इन ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन द मॉड्यूल स्टैंडर्ड डाइवेशन विच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्जन एंड दिस सेशन दिस मॉड्यूल इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द कोर्स बायो स्टेटिस्टिक्स अंडर द प्रोग्राम ऑफ एम एस सी एन एन डी एंड एम एस सी बायोटेक्नोलॉजी एम एस सी एफ एस टी एंड एम एस सी माइक्रोबायोलॉजी फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर ऑफ द यूनिवर्सिटी एज ऑल वी नो दैट अबाउट दिस सेशन स्टैंडर्ड डाइवेशन इज एन इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्जन एंड दिस इज अ गुड मेजर ऑफ डिस्पर्जन so this is a very useful topic uh, and uh, also useful for the purpose of the research uh, so uh, important for the uh, research purpose also this topic uh, this session and uh, that's why uh, this part is an important part of mathematics and statistics uh, and uh, that's why it is included in the various courses of the universities uh, at uh, ug and pg level both uh, Uh, this topic uh, standard deviation is having so many uh, so much applications uh, for the research as well as the other fields also and uh, in the today session we will discuss about the uh, this, uh, the about the definition of standard deviation concept of standard deviation and uh, how can uh, uh, just uh, how can be useful for us uh, and for the students uh, as well and uh, what are the merits and demerit points of the standard deviations we will take some examples uh, in today session so first uh, uh, as all we know that uh, major of dispersion just uh, it is a uh, it is uh, it is a study of uh, uh, the spread of the data and uh, we can just find out uh, we can find out the the total uh, nature or the complete nature of the data by the standard uh, uh, the major of dispersion and uh, major of dispersion uh, will have uh, uh, some components like uh, range uh, quartile deviation mean deviation standard deviation and uh, uh, among them the standard deviation is one of the best uh, major of dispersion because uh, Uh, this uh, major of dispersion uh, will use uh, all the data uh, uh, of the uh, given all the given data uh, and uh, uh, it is uh, useful uh, it is important uh, uh, as compared to mean deviation because in the mean deviation this we will find uh, the deviations uh, and we will take its absolute value but in the in the uh, in the square standard deviation the absolute value is not taken and that's why it is better than as uh, better than to uh, mean deviation also uh, standard deviation can be defined as uh, the positive under root or positive square root of the uh, arithmetic mean of the uh, deviations uh, of the squares of the deviations uh, of the data taken from the mean value so this uh, standard deviation uh, just we have defined it uh, and uh, it can also be just uh, called uh, like uh, uh, it can also be uh, explained as uh, just it is the uh, positive under root positive square root uh, of the uh, arithmetic mean of the deviations uh, the square of deviations uh, uh, square of deviations of the data and uh, uh, this deviation is taken from the mean values so uh, this is a standard deviation and if we take the square of the standard deviation then uh, the variance the term of variance will be obtained and uh, this variance is also a very important part of the statistic statistics uh, and uh, we will uh, take some slides to explain uh, this topic standard deviation in more uh, better way because we are needing some uh, mathematical concepts uh, mathematical formulas and examples to explain this uh, that's why we are going to share some slides sir uh. 
say the methods of find the standard deviation is given that uh, the standard deviation is given by this formula sigma is equal to uh, it is under root of that is summation of y i minus y bar whole square upon n that means uh, summation y i minus y bar whole square upon n and whole is to the power half so that is the positive square root of the uh, the positive square root of the arithmetic mean of the square of the deviation sum of this uh, positive square uh, just positive square root of the uh, arithmetic mean uh, of the square of the deviations uh, taken from the mean value and uh, which can also be written as uh, summation y i square upon n minus y bar whole square under root and uh, uh, this is the formula which is defined for the individual series uh, means uh, where the frequencies are not given and if the frequencies will given then uh, how this formula can be changed uh, sigma is equal to sigma is the notation of standard deviation and this is equal to uh, summation f i y i minus y bar whole square upon capital N and raised to the power half or if we simplify this form, uh, this formula further then it will become uh, summation f i by i square upon n minus y bar square and uh, with uh, under root with positive square root here this capital n is representing the total number of data that is summation f i and n is also representing the total number of data uh, y i representing the data value y bar is representing the mean of the data value f i is representing the frequency of uh, the uh, data now how can we define how can we uh, just find variance uh, because the variance is given by the square of the uh, standard deviation therefore just uh, uh, we have seen uh, in the previous slide uh, the, fo the formulas of the standard deviation mean sigma and if we have to find the variance so the variance is given by sigma square is equal to summation y i minus y bar whole square upon n and which is equal to summation y i square upon n minus y bar whole square and uh, if we want to find this uh, variance in the case of the group data then just we are uh, needing to write uh, uh, we have to use fi also so in this formula we have to use fi as mentioned here as given here so this formula can be reduced to this form for the sigma square like summation f i y i minus y bar whole square upon n and uh, this equal to summation f i y i square upon n minus y bar square now we take uh, one example to explain this uh, how can we find uh, the standard deviation uh, how can we find the standard deviation for uh, the uh, given data so in this question in this question we have uh, some data and data are written in the form of the individual series like uh, 1 comma 3 comma 5 comma 5 comma 6 7 9 and 10 so these are given data and we have to find uh, here the standard deviation so just for the standard deviation first of all we have to find the mean value and the mean value is given by summation of data summation of like uh, uh, data means uh, that is 46 upon the total number of data which is equal to 8 so this will be equal to 5.75 so this is the mean value 5.75 and now we have to find uh, the deviation so and the deviations from the mean uh, just are mentioned here are uh, uh, can are given here like uh, y i minus y bar so this y i minus y bar is given by 1 minus 5.75 so 3 minus 5.3 minus 5.75 comma 5 minus 7.5 and then so on so in this way we have to find uh, the deviations uh, from the mean uh, for all the data and in the next step in the third step we have to find uh, their squares uh, so we have to find the squares of the deviations uh, and in this way like 22.563 7.563 these are the deviations uh, 
squares of the derivations. In the next step, step number four, we have to find uh, the summation of all the squares of the derivations. Uh, so summation y i minus y bar whole square is equal to like uh, 61.504. 61.504 is the uh, summation of all the squares of derivations. Uh, and uh, in step number five, uh, we can see there n is equal to eight. Uh, the total number of data are eight given. And therefore, the uh, now we have to use the formula for the standard deviation or the variance. Uh, the variance is equal to uh, sigma square, and this is given by y i minus y bar whole square summation summation of y i minus y bar whole square upon n, and uh, this equal to 61.504 upon 8 7.69, and the standard deviation sigma is given by 2.77 means we have to take the under root of sigma square so it is given it is obtained as 2.77 and variance is obtained as 7.69 so this uh, is a part of the uh, this is a part of the uh, like uh, standard division which is a very important topic of the uh, very top important topic of the major of dispersion and uh, measure of dispersion means uh, which is a part of the uh, statistics uh, uh, mathematics uh, and uh, uh, it is useful for the calculation of uh, like uh, calculation of uh, the deviations uh, and uh, from the like uh, our given data or from the mean values uh, and important for the just uh, higher studies uh, and uh, uh, for just further research purpose also and uh, it is uh, having so many good uh, uh, advantages and uh, some drawbacks are there like uh, this measure uh, of dispersion means a standard deviation is uh, is uh, uh, independent from change of origin it is independent from change of origin so that is uh, a merit point uh, that is uh, advantage point uh, uh, for this uh, measure of dispersion but uh, is having a drawback uh, like uh, this uh, is uh, dependent on the change of scale so it is dependent on change of scale so it is a drawback for this uh, uh, major of dispersion means standard deviation and uh, major of dispersion uh, because uh, it is a good measure of dispersion standard deviation is a good measure of dispersion and that's why it is useful for the further mathematical uh, purposes for further mathematical analysis uh, so that is also useful uh, this point uh, and uh, uh, the uh, measure of dispersion uh, can be just uh, determined by the different uh, series for the different series uh, for different uh, type of data uh, so students are advised uh, to prepare this topic uh, uh, very uh, like uh, with very concentration and uh, with uh, uh, with a complete study uh, and uh, they have to just uh, they have to take some numericals uh, for all kind of series like for the individual series ungrouped data and the group data they have to prepare the questions uh, and uh, how can uh, just uh, how it is useful for the various different purposes uh, what are the its uh, applications uh, students have to learn and students have to understand uh, such type of applications uh, and because this is a very important topic so in different competitive examinations uh, the objective questions as well as the subjective questions uh, uh, will be asked uh, so students have to uh, prepare for such objective and subjective questions uh, and uh, learn their and they learn uh, the topics uh, the prepare the topics uh, with uh, full conceptual parts uh, with full concepts uh, and for this uh, they can use the different uh, books uh, and uh, different uh, uh, literature part uh, uh, different books are available for this uh, online uh, just online notes and online classes online uh, videos are available to prepare such uh, uh, topics uh. so with this i am concluding my today's session thank you